One of the major new features in macOS Sierra is the ability to optimize storage on your Mac. This can be especially helpful with MacBooks and MacBook Airs that only have 128 gigabyte drives. Those can really fill up quickly with HD videos, photo files, and other documents. We can access this window in a couple different ways. First, go to the Apple menu and then About This Mac. Click on the Storage tab and Details. That actually launches the System Information app, which resides in your Application folder and Utilities. To get to this window directly from the System Information app, launch it, and then go up to the Window menu and Storage Management. On the left side of this window, we get a look at how much data is being used by certain folders on this Mac. Currently, we're in the Recommendations section, but I can click on any of these specific selections to view the contents of the folder, or if it's a service like iCloud Drive, enable iCloud Desktop and Documents, which we'll talk about in its own lesson. Let's return to the Recommendations section and choose Optimize. All this is going to do is remove iTunes movies and TV shows that have already been watched. These are only shows and movies that you've purchased from the iTunes store. If you imported movies or TV shows into iTunes on your own, they're not going to be deleted. A single episode of a TV show can use a terabyte or more of space. A movie can easily double that. So if you've purchased videos from iTunes and are running low on storage space, this can be really helpful. If you want to watch one of the deleted movie or TV show episodes again, you'll be able to re-download it from iTunes at no charge. In this menu, we have options for email attachments. We can either set this to download only attachments that have come in recently, or set the Mac to not download attachments automatically. With the second one selected, when an email comes in with an attachment, I'll need to ask Mail to download the attachment. Next, we have an automatic empty trash option. Activate this and your Mac's going to permanently delete anything that's been in the trash for 30 days. If you don't manually empty the trash every once in a while, files can build up in there, taking up large amounts of space. This is an easy way to make sure your Mac's trash folder isn't overfilled. We're going to kind of jump around in this window and look at the reduce clutter option in the next lesson. After that, we'll talk about iCloud Desktop and Documents.